Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, all that jazz, Happy Holidays. It is the Obscurus Tourist here, and today I come to you from my hometown of Toronto. And today I wanted to bring you a special holiday horror episode because in this city of the six, the mighty six, Toronto, one of the most classic horror Christmas hybrid movies was filmed. Yes, I don't know if there are many, but this one is a stake true classic. It is Black Christmas, filmed in 1974 and filmed entirely here in Toronto. So I want to show you some filming locations here because there aren't many, but luckily, after all of these years, all of them are still standing. And I want to spit some obscure, lesser known facts about Black Christmas. So let's go, let's do it. Let's dive right in. Black Christmas here in Toronto. One of the coolest things about Black Christmas is that it was filmed entirely inside of Six Clarendon. And this adds a lot of levity and so much authenticity to the movie as a whole and just gives it that extra creepiness. This is very, very unlike most movies filmed before and almost every movie filmed after in that they are filmed mostly on sound stages. So a quick little interesting factoid entirely inside of Six Clarendon. Pretty cool. Another very interesting fact about this movie is that Black Christmas was directed by Bob Clark. Don't know who Bob Clark is? I think you actually do because Bob Clark directed another classic Christmas tale, A Christmas Story, 1983. In fact, A Christmas Story writer Gene Shepard was asked to have it adapted to screen many times but turned it down. It wasn't until he saw Black Christmas that Gene Shepard finally agreed and wanted Bob Clark to bring the story to life. Pretty neat. Black Christmas actually began its life as a screenplay by Roy Moore titled The Babysitter, which riffed on the now familiar urban legend of a babysitter tormented by a killer who turns out to be making phone calls from inside the house. Pretty creepy.
Black Christmas is actually considered the very first slasher film, which by today's standards is absolutely bonkers considering the trope is used in almost every single horror film. But he also introduced the idea of not showing the audience the killer, which again, but at the time, unique. Olivia Hussey, who played Jess Bradford in the movie, took the part in part because she was informed by a psychic that she would be involved in a movie in Canada that would make a lot of money. Pretty good reason to take a part, I suppose. Malcolm McDowell was originally offered the role of Peter in the film, but turned it down. He now admits that it is one of the biggest regrets in his film career. Legend Betty Davis was initially asked to play the role of house mother, Mrs. McHenry. Ultimately though, Davis turned it down and the role instead was played by Marion Waldman. Comedy legend Gilda Radner was originally cast to play Phil, but just a month before filming was set to begin, Radner was cast on a new television show, Saturday Night Live. Another screen and stage legend filled her shoes, however. Andrea Martin played the role of Phil, and the rest is history. Hello? Black Christmas, under the title Stranger in the House, was set to make its network television premiere on January 28th, 1978. But just two weeks earlier, the Chi Omega House was the scene of a double murder, which, as it turns out, were committed by infamous serial killer Ted Bundy. NBC, out of respect, aired something else in its place. Believe it or not, Black Christmas actually inspired John Carpenter to make his Halloween series. Pretty cool. John Saxon, who plays Lieutenant Fuller in the film and director Bob Clark, had a heated debate before filming a particular scene. The debate was about how to pronounce the word fellatio. Yes, hilarious. Saxon thought the word was pronounced filatio, and Clark had the hard A idea in his head of fellatio. Clark, however, won out on the debate, luckily, because that is actually the right pronunciation of it. Too bad Google wasn't around to help save them some time and some argument. It's uh, fellatio 20880. Really hope you enjoyed this episode here in my hometown of Toronto. I love filming things 
when I'm around, when I'm back home. And I've been wanting to do this one on Black Christmas for quite some time, finally had some time, and I really hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds and a little bit of trivia, some, some odd tidbits about Black Christmas. For now, it is the Obscurus Tour saying so long, take care of yourselves, stay beautiful, and until our next weird adventure, see you later. Going through Soldier's Tower. This building is still absolutely amazing.